Aaron Phil covering. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Yesterday, we actually removed a video from our YouTube channel there uh, talking about the Russian forces moving military equipment inside of Volgograd. Volgograd is just to the east of Ukraine. It is within striking distance, uh, The uh, especially the particular missile system that Russia moved in there, the Iskander Ilm. Uh, the Iskander Ilm, just to kind of give you an idea, is this particular missile system right here on your screen there. It is capable of carrying nuclear warheads as well. In fact, that's over in Kaliningrad right now, uh, something that has made Europe very nervous that this missile system is actually there. But the thing was, the reason we removed the video was because of an actual celebration of Stalingrad, the liberation of Stalingrad, uh, that occurs on February the 3rd. But at the same time, I realized that Russia could leave assets behind. Uh, and as I began to do a little bit more searching here, Michael D on Twitter, he had also posted about this, so I did contact him about the moving of the missiles because the news story that I was using was from a Russian language news story there uh, that where it had come up on Instagram, the actual video. Well, I was trying to get the video to play on Michael D's once again, but uh, it's for some reason not wanting to play. I don't know if they're trying to block it a little bit or whatever. But then also Michael post posted another video, and again, this is supposed to be military equipment coming in for this parade celebrations, which of course could part of the asset could be left behind uh, because of tensions happening in Ukraine. Of course, I'm getting the same problem with the other one that shows Russian military assets moving into that direction there. I don't know if that's on my end or what, but that's beside the point. What I wanted to really get to show you though was a couple of other things that I'm seeing that is happening over there in the European theater that could very well warrant uh, my original thought that Russia may be using the opportunity of the parade to get a buildup. This particular article right here is about Russian ships involved in war games in the uh, Baltic Sea there. Uh, according to this uh, article right here, there are 50 ships that are involved of every sort and every size that you could think of that are involved in this particular operation right now. They are practicing all types of drills, but for the Russian Navy to have 50 ships uh, involved in drills there, that lets us know that Russia is getting ready for something that they're anticipating on happening. Well, to kind of make it even more interesting, uh, already happened, Lorenzo, our Italian journalist friend there, also posted, well, it's another video that they don't want you guys to see. That's interesting. Anyhow, what this is showing here, though, is they were moving uh, infantry fighting vehicles across the street. Now, this was close to the Poland and Lithuanian borders. Uh, and I think, let's see, we can at least jump over to uh, Lorenzo's website. Maybe we can at least get to see the video a little bit better on his actual website there. Uh, but yes, this is the, uh, you can actually see this on your screen here. These are, and there's a long line of them coming around all the way back there all coming in and of course in Belarus. So it makes you wonder what's going on. It doesn't end there either. Michael also pointed out too that the Baltics, that the SU-27 pilots of the Baltic Fleet Naval Aviation practice air combat in groups over uh, Kaliningrad uh, region. They also train to intercept high-speed targets according to the Russian MOD, uh, this happening as well. So Russia is doing a lot of military drills right now. And so my guess is, is what Lorenzo is showing as well, is probably another drill over, whether that's a practice run or not, it's kind of interesting, I'm sure it is, but why would they be practicing in such overcast skies? You know, I know uh, in the United States, I used to live close to a naval base there uh, in Pensacola many years ago, and the Blue Angels would always practice, but they would only do their practicing for air shows on clear days. The biggest problem you could run into is practicing on a cloudy day when there was much more risk of um, accidents. So that kind of made me wonder why would Russian uh, Su-27s or 24s there be practicing with such a major overcast, even though it may be a parade, because of the dangers of that, unless they're also doing war games, as what we're seeing according to Pravda's report here, uh, 50 warships Russian warships practicing in the Baltics there, uh, and as well as what it appears to be on Michael D. when he loaded this one here, the Su-27 pilots also practicing of the Baltic uh, Naval Fleet Aviation practice air combat groups over the Kaliningrad region there. So very interesting, very interesting what's happening there. It seems like Russia is not taking any chances there, and there's all types of propaganda coming out in Western media. It's really kind of disturbing 
Uh, everybody accuses Russia that they're getting ready to attack and take everybody out. You know, but at the same time, we also forget that even again, 40 more companies are being targeted in sanctions in Russia there. Uh, the Russian athletes are not allowed to participate, hardly any of them allowed to participate in the Winter Olympics. Uh, and if they do allow any of them to participate, they won't even be allowed to acknowledge that they're Russians. Very, I mean, this is just something's wrong uh, in the world there when we isolate a country that has not attack this nation whatsoever. And we can't use the excuse that the U.S. has been using the Democrats and uh, even Republicans as well that are saying that, oh, well, they meddled in our elections. The United States meddles in everybody's election, not just the United States. Great Britain does the same. Many countries are very much guilty of it. The U.S. is probably more notable to be guilty of meddling in elections all over the world. So uh, what makes us think that we're such a clean country that we have a right to even say anything to Russia uh, when even the President of the United States says he didn't do it. Hmm. It's definitely clear an agenda. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.